Hey, hey everyone, I'm Tiara Chardé. I'm back with another message. Shoutouts to you for liking and commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure that you do click on the bell so you know when I'm dropping another message. Shoutouts to those who have been donating, who have been booking services with me. Make sure you tap into the readings that we have going on. Also, you could still get in on the Pussy Portal program as well as the sex magic and manifestation workshop y'all i have a special gift included in the special um in the sex magic and manifestation workshop um that special gift that special offer literally ends tomorrow so be sure to click on the link in the description box for that workshop okay let's get into this message this is for the divine justice league right my divine justice leaguers come on in huddle up huddle up it is time for our meeting okay um many of you know a couple weeks ago i dropped a video titled the divine justice league and you're letting me know that you're literally here to fight spiritual crime and i feel like this particular message is one that you're needing okay you're needing this intel so many of you you know what's going on um in the world especially like in the spiritual community we've talked about it especially if you're tuned into this platform you're pretty cognizant of the things that are that have been going on and transpiring right so you may have noticed a pattern lately of the same type of energies presenting themselves to you or the same type of person the same situation the same mo right everywhere you go it's like somebody is plotting against you or somebody's jealous of you or somebody's competing with you or somebody's trying to sabotage you or somebody's doing spell work. It's like constant for you. I need you to know something. It's not you. You're not crazy. It's not all in your head. Those who are balanced and really focused and you know, you're not irrational. You are seeing what you're seeing. You're experiencing what you're experiencing because we are in spiritual warfare, y'all. And it is kicking up. Y'all have heard me say over and over, it's like real life Hogwarts out here. Mer many of you are literally Harry Potter and Harriet Potter. You're literally meant to fight spiritual crime and demonic entities. That's your role. Some of you, you're meant to embody that role through your vibration, right? You like to keep your vibe high, your frequency high so that, you know, you could stay aligned with your path you can um, be of service to others because most people who tune into this platform, you're in service to others in some sort of way, right? I call out to my, my star seeds, my light workers, my chosen ones. So, um, you know, you have that going on. The reason why these people have the same type of MO is yeah, it is game stalking, but for right now, these are literal entities, okay? Literal demonic entities entities and energies that are presenting themselves okay and they're inhabiting people that's what's going on y'all all right and all of this has been coming to me over the years but literally last year was when i started to see this entity right many of you know me by now you know i'm a prophet you know i'm an oracle and a seer um and i'm also a prophetic dreamer in this dream, I literally saw this being, all right? And at first, I'm like poking at it because I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like, get out of my way. It was crossing my path. Like, bitch, get out of here. Let me relax, okay? It was crossing the path, so I was like, move. I was poking it, like, get it. Like, get out of here. It was purposefully blocking my path though and so you know the divine was showing me okay this is happening to all of those who hold the light right many of y'all know that um just because you know neo was in my name tiara neo Chardé, you're neo too right i'm here to see these visions and know what's going on in the collective in your life okay what's needing to not so much your your business but the spiritual warfare that's going on right all of that is always revealed so this being is seeking those of the lights those of who are chosen those who are meant to 
um, create change. And they can't stop you, they can't hurt you. But I feel like those who may not be aware of what it is and what is going on, you could fall into bouts of depression or you know, self-doubt. It's very easy to do that, especially if you are surrounded by people who don't align with your vision or they don't believe the purpose that God placed in your life, right? You could have a lot of naysayers around you. For someone out there, I'm really getting that. Like you have a lot of people in your ear and around. You're surrounded by agents for someone out there. Wow, okay. Zooming out of that. Mmm. Okay. Um, so this entity, this being, it literally launched at me. It attacked me. Y'all, it was fighting that thing. Cause don't let these dimples fool you, okay? I am definitely a warrior. I am a warrior spirit, a spirit warrior. That's why we're here. We're not cowards at all. So I'm fighting this thing like, get, get out of here, right? Cursing at it, y'all. Then I saw people, right? I was able to get past, right? And listen, this is prophetic. This is what's going on right now. I was able to get past, you know, um, entity i saw this person who was involved with this entity who was being influenced with it i saw many different people and the message that was coming in was this is not just one entity this is a legion of low vibrational entities who are literally after the light and many of you know this we're in spiritual war we've always talked about this as a spiritual war right and you need to know that like these things live in other dimensions and other realms it just comes down um it comes up into this reality so that you can see it in the physical but it's, it's going on up there in the astrals it be going down y'all okay i need you to understand me <laughs> many of you have seen this you've dreamed this or you've gotten the knowing okay that this was going on so the message was also that this entity is dwelling in people, right? It's a legion. So there are many, 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 many beings. A legion is some is many beings in one on a on one agenda. And this is very negative. This is from like the pits, okay, y'all? It's very, it's not somebody who does bad things. This is the creator of the bad things, right? literally embodied in people around you on the streets in your job um if there are low vibrational people around you who don't protect their energy and don't align with their purpose of the highest vibration then they can absolutely be infiltrated by this legion these entities yes yes y'all you see it all the time um and that's what i was seeing in my dream i saw the person and the people who were working with this legion because you do have living breathing people who are employed by darkness whether they realize it or not when they're sabotaging you when they're slandering you when they're trying to steal your stability and your purpose when they're launching real spiritual warfare at you and i mean real as in they're consciously aware that they're doing this to you they're being employed by the agents of darkness and they are actually being possessed by this legion. Oh, I can't make it up. I saw it. So there's nothing, there's nothing anybody could tell me. Like I bet money on my intel. Okay, y'all know this. Y'all know this about me. So when I tell you this, you could take it to the bank. Okay. There are people who are employed by this legion who are purposefully in cahoots whether they realize it or not. And then you also have people who are being possessed by this legion. And that's why chosen one, healer, starseed, that's why you keep encountering the same type of people or the same type of experience, right? Like I was saying, everywhere you go, everybody's jealous of you. Everybody's trying to slander you. Like everybody's trying to get something out of you. It's not you are what you attract. Cause I, I hear somebody saying that that's not what this is okay don't don't insult my intelligence all right that's not what this is and i feel like somebody out there you have people trying to insult your intelligence when you know what's going on okay that's for someone very specific okay 
And also, only take what resonates in this story. Don't assign this story to you if it's not yours, okay? It belongs to somebody else. And if you need further insight, book a session with me, okay, honey? But look, this legion is operating in many different people, okay? So you could literally call the pharmacy and this legion will hop into the person who answers the phone. You could literally go back to your hometown and the legion is 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 at every single block. Yes, y'all, I need you to get out of this idea that um, life is how it appears, right? I need you to understand that this is the Truman Show, okay? I need you to get the fact that this is the sequel to They Live, all right? Check out those movies. But yeah, this is literally what's going on. Even in The Matrix, they showed you what was going on with Agent Smith. This is literally what's happening. It's a legion of demons, okay? My divine justice leaguers. And I feel like that will give you a lot more clarity on what's happening. It'll give you more clarity and it'll give you more confirmation that this is what's happening. You're literally in spiritual warfare, okay? Some of my Bible heads, some of my, you know, ex-Christians or my spiritualists out there, you know the Bible verse? We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Oh, yeah. And what I saw in my vision was most definitely a principality. I could tell you right now. Yeah, it was. The thing about it, though, they don't expect you to fight back. They want you to succumb to your fear and your um, your depression, right? They like to use scare tactics. Cause before I was fighting this thing off, right? I was like, ew, get out my way. Then it wanted to get big dog with me. It got bigger and launched itself at me. And I was like, what? Bow. <laughs> like you dare to run up on me? Like, do you know who I am? Many of you, you're needing to have that type of energy when it comes to the forces of darkness. You need to really understand who you are, what team you're on, and how to fight spiritual warfare. Because this is what we're in, okay? Um, and a lot of my oracles, my seers, you see it show up in different ways. I need you to see behind the mask of things and people. Because like I said, you have people who literally are knowingly employed by this legion yes they're in your life right now for some of you or they're trying to figure out ways to come into your life or ways to return to your life so please be mindful use your discernment okay but yes yeah, some of you are needing to fight back because like i was saying when i really wound back and i started knocking it it was like like, oh my God, she hit me. Like, <laughs> that's the energy, y'all. I need you to understand this. Because you got a lot of movies, you got a lot of horror flicks. They'll, they'll cause you to be fearful of this thing. And I want you to be fully rational and see it, right? Not be fearful, be cognizant, be aware. But don't be scared. They're more scared of you than you are of them. These energies, they're terrified. Especially if you align with the divine. Especially if you align with your ancestors and guides, the ancestors of the land, the ancestors of your bloodline, the nature spirits, the elementals, the earth. They not fucking with y'all. They not gonna run up. Like I said in the last video, they could either take the front seat or they could go to the back row. Either way, they gonna watch your rise and your greatness. They're gonna watch. So, Divine Justice Leaguers, listen. You fine, baby. You're safe. You're loved, you're protected, know who you are. Move forward with authority in spirit, like inside of yourself. Be sure inside of yourself, okay, my love? And if you need any help with that, click on the links in the description box. Um, I was gonna say you could DM me. You could DM me, all right, right now. Right now, you know, while things are kind of, well, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, that's, that actually wasn't. <laughs> you could DM me, all right, my love. And I have a lot of things going on that you could tap into to fortify yourself. So send me an email if you have some questions on, you know, what may be best for you or what steps that you can take, okay? 
Um, I have protection rituals. I also have money rituals, energy clearing. Um, Y'all know I'm an ordained minister, right? So yeah, I cleanse your home. I cleanse you. I help in that way. So tap in if you need me, okay? But I'm T. Arashardé. Thank you for tuning in to this message. Again, be sure to give this video a like. If you resonate with any part of this message, like if you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen this thing or you've experienced something that I had, I've mentioned, be sure to leave a comment and let me know, okay? I always love to see your comments. I will see you on the next video, okay? Peace and love.